Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. If you're just joining us, this is the stand at Ramaguko at Y254 channel is our social media handle. Remember, we are live on our website, www.y254.co.ke. Give us your comments as you continue with this conversation tonight. Now, um, we were... We, we, you were touching about um, issues politics. to do with uh, uh, po politics. Uh, yeah. uh, the politics that uh, you are you are supposed to stop politicking um, uh, for 2022. For 2022, yet you've been given a directive. And I would like to start with what Honorable Raila Molodinga said. He said this, and I quote: "When Jaramogi disagreed with Kenyatta on the issues of land, he wrote a letter that said he found it no longer tenable to remain in government." And he resigned. He had the courage and decency to say, I am stepping aside because I do not want to earn a salary and I'm, uh, and I'm doing nothing. So if you have a problem with your boss, take a walk, get out of it. That's what Honorable Raila Odinga said in regards to the, the deputy president. What would be your, your take? Because should this be an option you for know, Ruto? You know... Age is a problem because such comments should not be come to somebody who really thinks uh, properly because Jaramongi was a vice president appointed by the president. We are in an era of a deputy president elected in the same ballot box with the president, conjoined twins. Kenyans gave their votes to two people not one person. So when you compare an appointee to an elected person, then I think so you are missing the line. There is no comparison. But I, yeah. I may be... There's, a def so there's, there's definitely a comparison because it's an issue of principle. Principle never changes whether you are elected, whether you are <laughs> appointed. If I do not agree with you on principles, I take a walk. But you cannot operate like... Um, a, a girl uh, mm. or a lady whose husband is marrying a second wife mm. uh, customarily and then you're sulking and uh, throwing tantrums in the house. Uh, I always advise people like even when I was working at FIDA and a woman comes and uh, the husband has gotten married and they are sulking and they are throwing tantrums. I tell them you have two, 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 two options. One is stay in the marriage and accept your co-wife or Take a walk, divorce, but Which you cannot you, stay. You believe that's an option. You for will the be day giving. Day. You will be giving yourself unnecessary stress. You will be giving your children unnecessary stress. You will be causing t problems to your neighbors because you will always be fighting. You will be kicking. You will be screaming. So really, the most honourable thing to do is, if you are not agreed, is to take a walk. Yet at the same time, Moshimiwa, we have had lots of complaints that the handshake was not extended to the deputy president isn't that also a reason for this why would issue? you why would you extend a handshake and he said it honorable sankoka said it really very well mm. that this were those were conjoined twins they came in elected as two so why are you extending a handshake isn't what, that what, what should actually be saying we are place. the ones who should be complaining that why didn't uh, DP Ruto also extend a handshake to Raila Molodinga because what he should have done, President Uhuru, extended the handshake to, pre to, to Honorable Raila Molodinga. So the person who should have then extended the handshake is the DP, not the other way. Why would President Uhuru be extending a handshake when they are conjoined as twins? They came in as one. Why are you extending a handshake? Oh. He beats all logic. The, the, the deputy president you know, said, you I, know, I, Ram, before even you come to that. Mm. You know, I've just said, this uh, comparison, comparing a vice president and a deputy president is wrong. Comparing uh, people who are elected together with a marriage, you know, <laughs> people who have just been, maybe, by the way, which type of marriage are you talking about? Cohabiting? No, not cohabiting. Customary marriage, marriage which customary is actually marriage, legal. Or, 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 customary or, or, or marriage is what marriage. allows... No, no, I wanted, to, I wanted to know which specific marriage are you referring to? Customary because comparing a uh, deputy president, a whole deputy president, with just ma uh, marriage. You know, the deputy president is married to Rachel. The president is married to Margaret, uh, according to my knowledge. So this issue of marriage, these people were elected together. And if they were elected together, if they have to go back to the ballot, 
they'll go back to the ballot together, probably separately. But we are talking that about the can, presidency, yes, not just the one individual, but the whole office. Yes. So if the whole office have to walk, then the whole office have to walk together. They have to move out of the market and together? tell Kenyans, elect again another conjoined twins. Because that is what our constitution say. But you cannot say, now we are, we are elected together, mm -hmm. you, you go back to the, where, where, walk. Where do you walk? It's walking, it is Kenyans to decide whether now we no longer want these conjoined twins, we want another set of conjoined twins. It is the Kenyan to decide. <laughs> it, is, it is not the issue of Milio Diambo saying, so and so should walk. Where? where? They did not walk into the presidency. They were elected into the presidency. It's only the election that can separate the two. That's well, a realistic one. Well, yeah, so what, but then in that case, really, first of all, let me also actually add, um, uh, tell my good friend, the Honorable Sankok, that if you read the Bible, the relationship between God and the church is actually re equated to a marriage. Mm -hmm. So if you are humble a little bit, you'd know that if God himself equates his relationship with the church as a marriage, then the deputy president could be equated to something less than a marriage. It could even be a cohabitation because for God it's a proper marriage. So having said that, I would actually want to say <laughs> that it's not the deputy, it's not about Kenyan saying that the deputy president walks, but he's already walking out because when the president says this and he says that, he's actually spiritually walked out. He's actually emotionally worked well, out. Mm. He's psychologically worked out. No, so no. what he needs to do is just legally work out. Because he's already worked speaking out. Speaking of people who have worked out, there are Kikuyu elders who walked uh, in courts. As you say, they went to uh, Raila Odinga's uh, home in Bondo. That was on, on Saturday. And uh, they declared that Honorable Raila is the community's 2022 choice. Your thoughts in regard uh, to that honorable circle? Of course, everybody have their own right. I remember also in, uh, I think it was somewhere in 2013 or I, I don't remember the year, the same Kikuyu elders also anointed again Raila. There mm. was an anointment uh, once of Raila being their choice. Uh, you remember when Raila was anointed by the Kalenjin, some Kalenjin elders also as Arab may be, and it is their choice, and you know what have been happening. So it is their right, they have done their bit, uh, even though I saw a few of them. There was uh, Zaki Nudia, who is not even married, he's 25 years of age. I don't think he, class for, he qualified to be an elder, but all in all, <laughs> they have all the right. And Raila Odinga is a Kenyan, so if we decide that individually, this is a person. We want the community to support. The community will go and sit down in the ballot box of 2022 and express that okay. particular willingness now, now to support on the ballot. Now, that's what you said. Let's take a look at what Hon, uh, Peter Kenneth said. Tumekuja as two representations of two communities to talk together and to walk together. Na nataka kusema ya kwamba hakuna dunia ingine tutaenda kuangalia suluhu ya shida zetu hapa Kenya. Suluhu sisi wenyewe hasa sisi viongozi lazima ito Okay, hap. All right. Uh, that is uh, honorable uh, Peter Kenneth your response to that. What do you think about it? Well, he spoke very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, he talked about working together as communities, which yeah, I think yeah. is very good because it's about unity of a country and uh, my friend actually should know better because he was in national um, uh, uh, co i mean he was Coalition in and coalition equal and equal op opportunities and equal opportunities of course which means it's about inclusion mm. but national cohesion is about bringing the country together so i think what they were saying is really really wonderful and uh, i would encourage it mm -hmm. the only thing i would want to uh, also uh, tell my brother that uh, he's making some inferences which i would actually say the the kettle calling the pot black and uh, why i'm saying so is just two days or one day ago we saw somebody saying a prayer and uh, the person who was saying a prayer said Suleimani uh, threw a stone <laughs> at goliath <laughs> and goliath uh, <laughs> the goliath <laughs> fell. I, don't, I forget what whether it's a fell punglu or i don't know which, which <laughs> what the sound of the falling was oh. but if you have a, such a bishop 
laying on of hands. And I'm speaking as a, a Christian. And I know what laying on of hands is. I don't mm. know what you are laying hands on. Uh, you are laying hands on the, you know, really it's almost like when Saul, uh, when Saul had been, when the Holy Spirit had departed from Saul. Then you will have uh, Suleimani is laying hands on you. <laughs> who killed <laughs> Goliath and said Goliath. Suleimani is who lay hands on Goliath. Who is laying Goliath with stone will really lay hands on you. You know, it, it, this, it, it this wasn't <laughs> supposed to be Suleimani. <laughs> this, uh, this, yeah, of course, that was, a slip, that was David. it was a slip of the tongue. No, no, no. You no. know, and let me tell you, <laughs> let, let me tell you, uh, Kenya is too many Kenya, Kenya is a country that is a Christian country. And we know those who never attend churches. We know those who complain of us taking our donation to churches. Th saying that we are carrying our donation in sacks. And there they never brought in power bags and the Christians or the churches refused. Mm. We know those who have always distanced themselves with the church. But as Christians, we know the importance of going to church. And the mistake the slip of the tongue was not from uh, the, the deputy president because I know he's, she's actually trying to insinuate that probably, you know, he's meet, we will meet with all Christians, we'll walk with all Christians, we'll go to prayers because some of us. For me, I went to school that is church-based. Most of the schools that are special schools for persons with disability are church-based. So no. when you see some of us going to church, we have a history with the church. No, and no. if you people don't go to church, then uh, probably that is your faith. Let me, let, let, let's look but at let, me, let, me, let, me, let me respond to that, actually, yeah, okay. uh, before, we, b before you actually seek your clarification. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm glad that my friend is saying that he, he went to a school uh, where he went to church. Mm -hmm. And if you actually read your Bible, both the Old Testament and New Testament, and the Old Testament basically talks about laws and rules. But the New Testament talks about a period of grace and a period of faith. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the, Old, the New Testament, it tells you, look at the book of Matthew. It tells you that w even when Jesus teaches us how to, s to pray, our Father who art in heaven, it says don't go to marketplaces like the Pharisees and uh, make a loud noise about how you're praying. But let you pray in private without announcing how you are, you are so spiritual. Let us not take the tendency of the Pharisees. If you are a, actually a Christian, our Father who is all-knowing knows what is in your heart. And I'm telling you, Ram, the, you are told that many are called, but few you are chosen. Are chosen. And you might think you are called, you but you will not be you chosen. You know, the same, the Only same, God the same, knows. the same Bible, Only God I, I, knows the who same will Bible, be I, I the same Bible, from the way he's the same Bible, honored from the way he's talking, Solomon, we need to go for building, no, because of building the house of God, because of building the house of God, you know, yeah. when we go to church and build the house of God, it yes. is God that have directed us to go and build a sanctuary for God. Now, but that's exactly by what telling you, but the same Bible tells you, let not what your right hand does, let yeah, not let your left hand know. Le and it is the same Bible that actually uh, praised the woman who only gave a coin because that's all she had. And that is what Without I'm telling being you. Pompous why, why did you not bring your coins? Why are you saying, why, why, why are you saying that we are not me, carrying our money our in sacks? Let me, let me know, come to you. She have all of a sudden, when you look at, she have all of a sudden developed spiritual eyes. She knows that that money that is taken to church, she knows those who will not go to heaven. And it's the same. A Bible that say, don't judge you know, me. Actually, so that I you didn't know, actually do judge. that, but his, <laughs> no, the no, no. spirit is convicting <laughs> him. Let, because let, one let, of the roles of the it. spirit is to convict men of <laughs> sin. So the spirit is convicting him of sin. And we'll continue praying for you that the spirit no, may we convict have always, you of sin. Uh, we have always prayed for you, uh, so that at least you can depart 